guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and um, I want to share a game changer with you, an absolutely amazing game changer. <laughs> so, you're looking at a Cricut mat that I have here. Actually, it's not it, I'm using it in my Cricut. It's a generic brand that I bought off of Amazon, and I haven't tried it yet. This is going to be my very first time to try it, and we'll, I'll know before this video is over when I go to take this to my Cricut to cut it how well this mat works. And I'm actually liking the stickiness factor of this actual mat and it's a standard grip one and I don't know how you say that in art in art Zen art or whatever is the brand if it if I like the mat I will link it in my Amazon store in the description box below and I usually buy my Cricut mats in cases of 30 or so from Cricut that usually lasts me quite a good while, at least a year <laughs> for those 30 uh, standard grip Cricut mats that I buy. But when I went to go buy my annual supply from Cricut, they were sold out. And I thought, okay, just to get me a few, uh, through, I'd pick up a few extra ones. And these were sold four to a pack for I think the price of two at Michael's or something like that. It was something insane. So I picked up a pack because, you know, it's worth 15 bucks to try is what I thought. Now, the game changer that I wanted to talk about, this product called Stick It. Have you, I don't know if you know about it. Maybe I'm late to the game. I don't know, but this stuff is phenomenal. I love it. The second backing is a little bit difficult to get off, but it's worth it in the long run. And um, it comes five sheets to a package, and they are eight by six, eight by six inches high and wide, long and height and width is what I'm trying to say. Excuse me, I'm all tongue-tied because I'm so excited about this. And when you're putting together the little teeny tiny die cuts and your paper piecing, it becomes very time-consuming to get those pieces glued down and put down and you got to use a million different adhesives, or at least I do, to make them work and and to get them down on my project so with this you put it on the back of your cardstock you put your cardstock on your mat you cut it out it cuts it all out and then you take the backing off and wait just a second i let me go get my other piece on my other desk sorry i'm hurrying shoot. I hope I didn't throw it away. No, I didn't throw it away. I've lost it. I've lost it. I'm going to have to go find it. Okay, with that, I'll take out another sheet. <laughs> Can't believe I lost it. I lost it somewhere. And they're real thin. I'm going to pull it one out here doesn't add to your cutting at all whatsoever and I don't know if you can see or not but the sheets are broken into thirds see how easy it is to fold and and fold you can break it into thirds if you choose to and I'm going to because I've got all of these except for the back piece with stick it on it and I don't want it on my back black piece because it's just going it's my background shadow layer and I can use my other adhesive for that because this stuff is somewhat expensive to use it for um, all of your layers and I think they also I think this also comes in larger sheets I think <laughs> 
uh, I'll um, try to find that out before the video's, out, video's over. And it's double-sided adhesive. And it's permanent adhesive and it is acid-free as well. So this side's sticky. I'm going to lay my piece of cardstock on top there. Oh, I wrinkled it because I did it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I got in a hurry because I got camera happy, I guess you could say. Oh, I was able to fix it. This is so perfect. And it's very, very sticky. Now, this is a piece I can't use. And if I wasn't doing this to film, I would actually have used this piece on another piece so I wouldn't have wasted. So filming causes a lot of waste, people. <laughs> if you don't film and don't do videos, you don't understand that. It takes, it causes waste. <laughs> so I'm going to put this piece right up here because I've already got everything laid out over on my virtual mat on my Cricut as to where I want everything to be to go. So uh, it only takes one mat to cut this image out. And you can see by the different colors I have, it would have actually have taken one, two, three, four, five, six mats. But I put them all onto one mat. And I wanted to share this part. This is like, the, what do we call it? Cricut Tetris. <laughs> so, yeah, and I've done this for years. I've played this Cricut Tetris for years, so I'm actually pretty good at it, if I do say so myself. And I know that doesn't sound very humble, <laughs> and and I like being a humble person, so I'm not trying to brag or exaggerate or anything of that nature, so please excuse me for not being very humble with that. But... I've got the experience and I've done it for so long that I can, it's seldom that I ever mess up with Cricut Tetris. So let me put you guys on pause. I'm going to go over and cut out these images. Then I'm going to come back and put this image together. Can you guess what the image is going to be? It's an image you've never seen me put together before. And just a quick hint, it's Disney. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I found my piece that I thought I lost because I almost broke my neck by stepping on it. <laughs> so I got it there. And I have another package here. I actually ordered several packs. And what I'm going to do, if you leave a comment on this video and tell me if you've ever heard of Stick It, if you've ever used Stick It, or if you want to use Stick It, I'll just pop this in just a little flat envelope and mail it to you. I'll give you a couple days to do that because I'd like to get it in the mail to somebody on Monday. So... If, if you'll do that, then I'll send you a free pack of Stick It. <laughs> now, um, did anybody guess what image I was putting together? I know I said I was going to come on and paper piece it together. And I'm sorry, but I 100% forgot. Once it, came, it cut out, I was immediately at my other desk putting it together putting it together because I was so excited and then it was like well shoot I said I was gonna I told you guys I was gonna film that part and I just forgot but I wanted to show you some of my leftover pieces and I've got stick it on the back of these pieces and it may look like trash to you but these will give me little eyeballs and different things that already has stick it on it I know it does because the backing is on there still so I'm gonna put this in my scrap door, drawer and use it May not be able to with the pink piece, but I'm certainly still going to try. My brown pieces, I still got a lot up here left. And then this one certainly looks like scrap. And if I wasn't, um, if I didn't have stick it on it, 
I would I would have gone ahead and thrown away all of these pieces but I can maneuver this and finagle this to where I can get little teeny pieces of different projects that I'll be working on to put on there so I'm excited about reusing those and not having to use more stick it so there is some waste but I can make it work can't we all and here's my image it's Bambi <laughs> didn't he come out so cute I just love the way he came out and it went together beautifully absolutely beautifully it came off the the backing very easily as well and there were lots of lots of little pieces as you can see from my scraps there and and I think it's really cute so I'm hoping that you guys do too because I love and I'll be using him in a layout uh, eventually here pretty soon at some point <laughs> so I love doing Disney things and I love doing them when I have a, an excuse or an op opportunity so and I already have an opportunity to make uh, a deer layout and I'll make it Bambi thing now if you follow me on Facebook on my Facebook group you'll see that I just recently when I posted my version of quarantine 2020 all cooped up I didn't say anything here on YouTube but on my Facebook group when I shared the video I said anybody that went over to the video and made, left a comment I would send all of the images to them so I am going to get ready to do that drawing here in just a second and um, and pop this in the mail on Monday to a lucky winner who may want to do it it's all of my paper piecings that cut exactly like I did them and how you saw me put them together my print and cut images my chicken coop and the grass <laughs> so let me go and get those names pulled together real quick and I will do that drawing as well okay I've got the names that commented on that video in my little um, wine cup here <laughs> I, there was eight comments and this is for the all cooped up um, die cuts that I either paper piece together or uh, print and cut and so you've got until um, Saturday evening to reply and I'll leave my email address in the comments or in the description box below and um, to send me your mailing address and this is going to be our winner Stamping Songbird you're the winner of my all cooped up die cuts thank you so much for supporting my channel and congratulations to you Stamping Songbird I really appreciate your support and don't forget if you leave a comment on this video you'll win a sheet of the stick it and the other thing that generic cricket pad or yeah cricket cricket cutting cutting mat oh my goodness brain fart <laughs> worked beautifully but I still want to use it two or three more times to determine if it's something that I would truly recommend and if I do then those generic ones will be placed within um, my Amazon store too but you can get the stickets there now I've already got them in there so thanks for watching and I hope you find this sticket a game changer just as I have cheers <laughs>